I got these wooden sandals from Dollar Tree and you will need three packs. I flipped them all to the back side and using a piece of sandpaper, I just removed the black printed label they had on the back. I grabbed some antique villa and gave each piece a light coat of the antique villa. And once that was fully dry, I took a piece of sandpaper and lightly sanded them. I then decided to paint them dried thyme. Now you can skip painting them white, but I prefer when I sand to see the white than bare wood underneath. And once those were fully covered and dry, I took a sandpaper and lightly sanded again. Now I gave what was the front side of the sandal a very light coat of dry thyme, but you could still see where they previously had their design. And I took my drill gun and I drilled three holes into each sandal. And using some raffia from the Dollar Tree, I strung it through each hole and I tied the raffia from the bottom two holes together and then I made one knot at the top hole. And then now it's just the strap to your sandal. And I repeated this for each sandal. Now you need the raffia to be thin enough to go through each hole. And then again, I tied the bottom two pieces together to make a knot. And then I tied a knot in the top two pieces. And then this is what the back side will look like on each sandal. And then I repeated this for the other two as well. Now once that was all done, I had these flowers I got from Dollar General and I just popped them off of the stem and I glued them to the top of each strap. And you can really decorate your sandal with anything that fits your decor. I thought a seashell would also be a cute idea. And now once that was done, I took these adhesive letter stencils that I had. And we get these from Hobby Lobby. And I took a foam dabber and some antique villa paint from Wise Owl. And I dabbed in my letters. And then taking a small art brush, I just connected and filled in where they had the lines on the stencil. And I put a letter on each sandal until I had the word summer. And when you're stenciling, you want to make sure that you use a very small amount of paint on your foam dabber, and this will help prevent any bleeding. Now once that was all dry, I took a small piece of sandpaper and just lightly sanded my sandal. And then I gave it a top coat of the furniture salve. Now if you want, you can do the stenciling before the raffia. And then you want to wipe in the salve with a cotton cloth. Now to connect all three of my sandals together, I took a popsicle stick and cut it into a few pieces. And taking some hot glue, I just placed them where the sandals met together. Then I had this wooden welcome word that I got a while ago from Michaels. And I painted it using goldenrod. And then I got this tag from Target. It was in a pack of four and it already had a string at the top and I painted the chalkboard part white and then I glued the wooden welcome on top of that. So then I took the welcome sign and another popsicle stick that I cut in half and I glued part of it on the welcome sign and then I flipped it over and attached the 
bottom half of the popsicle stick to the top of the sandal. And there you go. Now you have this nice welcome summer sign that you can hang at your front door. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube channel or our webpage. Have a great day.